All diseases are really rooted in one core issue, which is an energetic metabolic. It's the ability of the cell to derive energy from sugar and oxygen, basically air and sugar. And so this is either efficient or not efficient. And so when it's not efficient, there's a lot of pollution that starts to accumulate into the body. So melatonin, it's an absolute miracle molecule for sure. We would not be able to enjoy life without this molecule. Every cell in the body makes it. And it's there within a structure called a mitochondria. And the mitochondria is where rubber meets the road as far as making energy in the body. Dr. John, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, pleasure been, to be here. It's been a minute. We've been looking forward to this for months. Yeah. You've been yeah. coming to Austin a lot lately. I have. Just friends, podcast, business. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, just chilling, you know, hanging with uh, Luke and yes. you and Khalil and just all the different people I've been meeting. Meet new people every time I come here. Amazing. You seem like you're you're a very social man. Would you consider yourself to be an extrovert or are you ambivert? Are you more of like an intro or... Yeah, you know, um, very rooted in an introverted um, past and kind of feeling like a flower, kind of blossoming as, blossoming as I get older, you know, and kind of shedding some of those, uh, those, you know, I guess it's like, you know, you think about people that are shy, right? Is it really like shyness or is it more that there's... Um, some fears, right, that, that we have that are holding us back from really just being ourselves. You know, I think it's maybe the latter. And, and that's, that, that's what's true for me anyway. Yeah, I can relate to that. I was, we were eating dinner last night with some amazing people. And I was telling them, like, I'm in an identity crisis. We're changing the name of the podcast. And the audience is going to shift. And we're going to get new people. And some people are going to go in. It's like, well, isn't that the human condition that we're always evolving, that mm -hmm. we're constantly learning about? who we really are, and then hopefully authentically sharing that with people yeah. and not being full of shit. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I love about you is ever since I met you, I just felt this friendship. Mm -hmm. you know, the very first time we met, you didn't have to be nice. You, you gave me some of your product today, which we're going to talk about. It's the meditation mist. It's changed my relationship with Carrie, with the mother of my child, which is so beautiful. Mm. Anyways, you gave me all these products. And I'm like, he doesn't even really know me. He's just being so kind. So uh, I really appreciate you, man. I appreciate our friendship and, and the way that you've been uh, for Wellness Force and for me. So it's really, really cool. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. So I've done many things in my life and they've all brought me closer to myself, closer to God, mm -hmm. but nothing quite as powerful as doing the meditation mist and breath work together. Mm -hmm. We just did some breath work before we recorded the podcast. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about breath and meditation and physiology and melatonin, which by the way, is not just the thing that makes you sleepy. It has so many powerful things. You wrote a book and that book is the, Mir the Melatonin Miracle Molecule. Mm -hmm. And it was so cool. Right in the beginning of your book, you said, I dedicate this book to my mother, Pamela, for always supporting and believing in me. Mm -hmm. What's that relationship with Pamela like? How did that fuel your book? <laughs> 